what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? At 10 a.m. Wednesday, Justin Blackman got up from his desk and smooth walked out of Mr. Mendez's Spanish class. When he got outside, he realized he was all alone. Out of 700 students at Wilson Preparatory Academy in Wilson, North Carolina, 16-year-old Justin found himself in the company of one on National School Walkout Day. Justin said that earlier he had spoken with his classmates about the walkout, and they didn't seem to know what was going on. Undeterred, he walked out anyway. For 17 minutes, he stood outside, and he said when he walked back in, he thought he'd get in trouble, but he didn't. We teach our students to be independent thinkers. Janet Connor Knox, who handles public relations for Wilson Preparatory Academy, told CNN. She said that Justin is a free thinker. That's a good story, man. That's, that's a very, very good vibe for me. We teach our young people to be leaders, not followers, and Justin is definitely exemplary of that. Reminds me of a guy by the name of Willie Dennis. I remember when I was, I think I would have been a sophomore at that time. They were protesting and boycotting and doing all kind of stuff, trying to get Martin Luther King's uh, birthday to become a holiday. And I went about the business of organizing a walkout. We're going to boycott. We go, you know, so I go around to the students, all my classmates and other uh, schoolmates. I'm like, we're going to organize a boycott. And this boycott was going on around the country. So, you know, I got with a few of my people. I said, let's do it. So everybody was like, like it was really the senior class. That's who we was, that's who really was all about it, so say, right? So we, all the seniors like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. We're supposed to walk out at a lunch. It's going down. Man, that time came and went, and me, it would have been me, Ronald Hopes, I think it was Rodney Cleveland, and it was only like a couple of other people out of a class of like, 500. We were the only ones that walked out and we stood across the street from the school. <laughs> Boy, we thought we were some revolutionaries, man. But uh, we did it and we didn't get in trouble. We, I mean, it, trouble wouldn't have been like a new thing for us, but we just felt like we wanted to do it, man. We, we felt like it was a a good cause to get behind. I mean, we felt like, you know, Martin Luther King, I mean, he made the ultimate sacrifice. He put it on the line. Why not? So we did it. So I can relate to old Justin and all of the other youngsters out there that's stepping up and saying, you know what, man, I ain't tripping. If it go down, it go down, whatever happens, but I believe in this. And so, I'm stand by. I gotta, I gotta salute that. You know, I'm a huge gun advocate, but whatever side of the gun argument that you stand on, you gotta really give your hat, take your hats off for anybody who's willing to stand up for something that they believe in knowing that there could be severe consequences for their actions. That's, that's something to salute. So for Justin, man, I salute you, man. For all of the other students who dared to walk out, I salute you. For the PR uh, official at the school who stepped up to the plate and recognized that she had a free thinker and decided that, you know,
this is a good look for us. And, 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 and the other school officials, too, you know, for not trying to punish him. You know, I, I got to take my hat off and, and salute you. So, salute. What the haters talking about? Yeah.